Welcome to Automated Applications. The machine I'm about to show you is a contact, assembly, and weight check machine. What it does is it assembles a military contact, two pieces, a hood, and a, and a uh, contact, and assembles them at 60 parts a minute. Also does the weight check for minimum weight values and maximum weight values of a contact insertion. At that point, it's categorized the part as either good or bad and puts it in an eject bin. The machine is run by a programmable logic controller by Kiantz. It has a light screen by Kiantz. It also has the uh, control panel by Bear, and is cam actuated in most stations. What I'm holding here is a remote jog cable. It allows the technician, if they're having an issue with one part on the machine, that they can go through the machine and actually press this button and run the machine and see what's going on. It bypasses the light curtain, which allows them to go in, but if they're only holding the button down, it'll allow them to run. If not, it doesn't run. First part of the machine is the contact shroud, which is a stainless steel shroud that's draw formed, and it inserts it into a part holder. The next station checks the shroud to see whether it's correctly up or down by probing it to see whether the hole is larger or smaller on one side. If the shroud is present, the next station loads a contact. After it loads, the contact goes over to the next station and checks to make sure the contact is placed. If the contact is placed, it goes to the next station where it is pressed together. After the press process has been completed, it goes to the next station. The next station, it comes in and probes the contact for insertion value. If it is allowed to probe the contact and the pin goes in, it's a good part for probe. If it's not, it ejects it at the next station. It's also checked for ejection at that station. On the next station over, we do a max force insertion. We put a pin of the maximum size for its family into it and pull it out. If it is too much force to put it in, it lifts the weight. If it's too little force to push it in, it, it, it falls. Also, if it picks up the weight and holds onto it, which would be a max hold fault, uh, that'll be kicked out at the next station. Each station that it gets ejected from, there is a sensor that detects that part did get ejected. The next station that it gets to is a max minimum insertion force test, where we put a pin into it and it must lift a weight of the value for that family. Could be a half an ounce, could be an ounce, could be three quarters of an ounce, depending on what the contact right is. This contact that we're running is a size 26 contact right now. So we have like a half ounce insertion or withdrawal value. Once the part passes the withdrawal value or the, the min weight check, it goes to the next station where it's ejected into a scrap bin. Scrap bins have diverters on them so that they cause the least impact to the contact as it's being blown out. The last station on the machine is a sweep detect which makes sure that there's no contacts left in the dial plate. Then the machine runs along the all the cam actuations, there's a lift plate that's cam actuated that lifts the, the weight check stations up and down, the probe stations up and down, and any sensors that need to actually probe the part. 